Good morning. For today's video, our topic is dividing whole numbers by decimals up to two decimal places and vice versa. Math 6, Week 7, Quarter 1. For our word problem of the day, Eileen has 147 meters of rival. She cut it into 30 hundredths meter long. How many pieces of ribbon does she have? Again, Eileen has 147 meters of ribbon. She cut it into 30 hundred meter long. How many pieces of ribbon does she have? Let us solve the problem by following the steps in dividing decimals. So for our first example, we have 147 divided by 30 hundredths. Step number one, move the decimal point of the divisor to the right based on the number of its decimal places. So we have 147 divided by 30 hundredths. In this case, our divisor is 30 hundredths. So how many decimal places do we have in 30 hundredths? Very good. We have two decimal places. So we need to move the decimal point going to the right. How many times? Very good. Two times. So first, one and two. So now we have 147 divided by 30. Step number two. Do the same to the dividend. So again, we have 147 divided by 30. And what is our dividend? Very good. Our dividend is 147. So we need to move the decimal point twice. So 1, 2. Since there are vacant spaces after we move the decimal point twice in our dividend, so we need to put zero as place value holder. So now we have 14,700 divided by 30. Step number three, divide like dividing whole numbers. 14,700 divided by 30. 1 divided by 30 cannot be. 14 divided by 30 again cannot be. 147 divided by 30. The answer is 4. 4 times 30, we have 120. 147 minus 120, the answer is 27. Then bring down 0. 270 divided by 30, the answer is 9. 9 times 30, the answer is 270. 270 minus 270. The answer is 0. Since we have another 0 remained in our dividend, so we're going to put them up. So, the answer is 
490 ribbons. Did you get it? All right. Let's proceed to example number two. We have 105 divided by five hundredths. Again, step number one, move the decimal point of the divisor to the right based on the number of its decimal places. So we have 105 divided by 5 hundredths. So how many decimal places do we have in 5 hundredths? We have 2. So we need to move twice going to the right from our decimal point. So one, two. So we have now 105 divided by five. Step number two, do the same to the dividend. In this case, our dividend is 105. So we need to move twice from its decimal point. So one, two. Since there are vacant spaces, so we need to put a place value holder and that is zero. So we have now 10,500 divided by five. Step number three. Divide like dividing pool numbers. 10,500 divided by 5. 1 divided by 5 cannot be. 10 divided by 5. We have 2. 2 times 5, 10. 10 minus 10, 0. Bring down 5. 5 divided by 5. 1. 1 times 5, 5. 5 minus 5, the answer is 0. Since we have 2 zero remain in our dividend, so we're just going to put them up. There you have it. So the final answer is 2,100. Did you get it? Very good. Let's proceed to example number three. 21,204 divided by 62 hundredths. Again, step number one, move the decimal point of the divisor to the right based on the number of its decimal places. In this case, we have two decimal places in 6200. So we need to move again, how many? Two or two times. So one and two. So we have now 21,204 divided by 62. Step number two, do the same to the dividend. In this case, our dividend is 21,204. So again, how many times that we need to move the decimal point going to the right? Two times. So one and two. Again, since there are vacant spaces, after we move the decimal point, so we need to put a place value holder. So we have now 2,120,400 divided by 62. Step number three, divide like dividing whole numbers. 2,120,400 divided by 
62. 2 divided by 62 cannot be. 21 divided by 62 again cannot be. 200 fold divided by 62. We have 3. 3 times 62. The answer is 186. 212 minus 186. The answer is 26. Bring down 0. 260 divided by 62. The answer is 4. 4 times 62. The answer is 248. 260 minus 248. The answer is 12. Bring down 4. 124 divided by 62. The answer is 2. 2 times 62. The answer is 124. 124 minus 124, the answer is 0. Since we have two zeros remain in our dividend, so we're just going to put them up or add in our quotient. So the final answer is 34,200. Always remember, how do we divide whole numbers by decimals up to two decimal places and vice versa? First, move the decimal point of the divisor to the right based on the number of its decimal places. Step number two, do the same to the dividend. Step number three, divide like dividing whole numbers. And for our matano of the day, when 27 is added to the quotient of 945 and 15 hundredths, the sum is N. What is N? Again, when 27 is added to the quotient of 945 and 15 hundredths, the sum is N. What is N? Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!